talk about this. This kind of outlines what is going to be on your exam, and you should pay extra attention. And of course, you have you should have all these notes and activities all kind of processed by Thursday, right? Because Thursday you're going to get questions, and I want to make sure that you understand the kinds of questions you're going to get. Now, when you're here at the History of Earth, you know where that came from, right? I think I sent you a video on that as well from class discussion, and when we went in, I sent the video of the class discussion to your home on your, through Jupiter grades. You'll notice that there's a history. You're going to need to know where the building blocks of life come from. Right? Where did they come from? Can't hear you. No. Well, the first life was bacteria and prokaryotes. Yes. Where the, what were the building blocks? Where did the mi where did the fats, amino acids, the comets that shot down from outer space, right? So the very basic idea, the basic components of life came from there. If you can't answer that right away, you need to review that material. And that's all in the video I sent you that we we covered it in class. I told you what was going to be on the test from this section. You should already have studied for this. Made index cards. I don't know what else to tell you. You have till Thursday to get to know that, those, that material. Cell theory, uh, we went through it uh, and listed the cell theory. Again, it's in one of those videos I sent you that we did in class, right? And all the steps of cell theory. If, you, if that doesn't ring a bell, cell, the word cell theory, that doesn't bring a, ring a bell, what do you have to do? Rev don't say that word. I don't like that word. Review. Go back in your notes and find it. If you can't find it in your notes, look at your, the videos I sent you. I don't know what else to tell you. There's a number of you staring off into space. I know it's early, but there's absolutely no excuse for that. We're talking about your exam. You're talking about your grade. Your parents are going to call me and tell me how come, you're, how come uh, my child isn't doing as well as they could be. My kid is really smart. I don't understand why they're not doing well. You're not paying attention. That's why. So we went over the classic experiments. You did a classic experiments in biology. I went over it. I explained it. I sent you a video. I think what, when was that? Uh, I want to say last week, right? You were supposed to do it over Thanksgiving break, weren't you? And over Thanksgiving break, I sent you a video. I think it was like Friday I sent it to you. If you haven't looked at it, man, I don't know what to tell you. So go over that. Make sure you understand all the components of the classic experiments of bio, uh, in biology. One of those was uh, Meselson and Stahl, right, that looked at how do we know how DNA replicates. Now, at this point, no one knew that DNA was the inheritable material, but we, knew, we just wondered, how does DNA actually copy itself? <laughs> DNA structure and, uh, came from Watson and Crick. These fed into each other. They're connected. All this is in your notes. Griffith, DNA, protein, RNA. That was one of the classic experiments of, of, of biology, right? What was the inheritable material? Was it DNA, was it protein, or was it RNA? Right? That's right. They did discover it was DNA, but how did they discover it was DNA? I'm going to I'm going to put these experiments on the test. I I went over it. Guys, go look at those videos. I don't want to cover it in class cuz today I want to get to this lab, okay? So I'm just telling you, look at that video. You need to know that experiment what was the control group? I went through everything you need to know for the exam. Everything you need to know through the exam, right? So both of these, I went through all you need to know for the exam on that video. You were supposed to do it on your own, but I, I mean, it should have been easy, right? So this was all from the classic experiments package, which is, which is uh, inheritable material. As I said, DNA, protein, or RNA. We know it's DNA today, but how do we know it's DNA? That was the dead mice. Do you remember that? The this uh, the the uh, pneumonia bacteria, the smooth versus rough strain. That was all in that. And I explained what was the control group. You'll need to know what is the control group when you're looking at an experiment. Okay? I'm giving you this kind of heads up. 
outline study guide and we're going to have a deep review tomorrow but you need to watch you need to have those videos watched if you're not if you're waiting till the day before you're going to be in trouble you got to be able to ask questions tomorrow right so make sure you know what you're what's going to be on a test this is everything that's going to be on a test just a second i just want to finish this and then I'll, I'll open the floor for questions make sure you're writing down questions please all right so dna structure different forms what, were we, what are we talking about there? Uh, chromatin, chromosomes, right? Sister chromatids, the different forms of DNA. DNA structure, histones are wrapped around DNA, or DNA is wrapped around histones, right? To form chromosomes. Why do we form chromosomes? So we can separate them evenly, right? So this, is all, this should all be familiar to you. You should have known this. You should have made index cards. You should have got together with your study groups already. I, I, you know, these are these are kind of check boxes. If you haven't done these things, you should be like, okay, I'm behind. I need to get some of this done before Thursday. Maybe I can pull a C or B on the, on the test. I need to get this done, right? Genes. What's a gene? What's a gene loci? So you have this long DNA molecule. What is a gene? You should know that that's what codes for a protein. Not all the DNA codes for proteins. This is stuff we covered in class. Again, it's in the videos I sent you if you need to review. Allele, and also, I keep telling you, I'm grading your notebooks, right? And your notebooks are where you're gonna get this information, right? Your handouts, your notebooks, if you're not taking notes in class, hey, what can I tell you? I'm explaining it, what can I do other than explain it, give you labs to go over it, give you activities to try to let you do it on your own, what else can I do? That's what teaching is. If you're not willing to, to step up at that point, that's, that's going to have to be something that you have to discuss with the people that you love and that respect you, and you have to figure that out, okay? Because this is the only way this works, is that you have to, you have to step up and, and go over this material. Alleles were dominant, recessive, gene expression, right? Where did you go over this? Where did you do this besides class? that packet which one dragon. dragon genetics so you should know that right so you should know genotype phenotype you should know alleles you should know how they're passed on uh, I'm, I want to go over that I want to try to spend like 10 minutes at the end of class today going over that making sure everybody understood that dragon genetics like the, the, some of the key concepts before we move forward all right food supply uh, we had a whole lecture yesterday on food the food supply uh, what uh, some of the issues with eating meat. Uh, we talked about some of the possible solutions to, to the e environmental impact of eating meat. E eating, eating beef, eating chicken has both ethical and environmental uh, issues associated with it, right? And if you can resolve those for yourself, that's great. Uh, but you have, to, you have to realize that they are there. That's what I'm looking for. Does that make sense? Am I asking everyone to be vegan? No, I'm not even vegan myself. I eat meat. But what is, what is it that what is it that I'm asking you to do? Be aware. Be aware. So I'm testing on whether you're aware of the issues. That's what I'm testing. Are you aware of the environmental impact of eating chicken and beef and pork, any kind of beef? Are you are you aware of the energy that is wasted when you're taking good grain? and feeding it to animals versus feeding it to humans, right? Are you aware of the issues? The land, the amount of land that's taken up, the impact on the soil, uh, these are issues that I expect you to be aware of for this part, this exam as well. Notice it's all by itself because it really isn't part of this, is it? It's kind of a, it's kind of an add-on. And we'll, we will cover that a little more when we go into ecology. Another add-on is that Thanksgiving origin question. I warned you there's going to be a question. Um, that, remember that Thanksgiving uh, holiday uh, Friday meeting? And we had a presentation. I told you I was going to ask a question from it. Be aware that that question is coming. All right. Uh, I mean, like, that's not easy to remember. When so, okay, so it's not easy to remember. That's true. What might you have done? <laughs> That's a, that's so what if you didn't have your stuff during a Friday meeting? It's a valid point. What what should you do at this point then? You know, ask somebody that did have their notes. 
I, I specifically said, this like sounds like something I definitely ask. Where, what might you do? Yeah. Right, look some stuff up, do some research on it, or you might, or what you might do. It's one question. You might just say, hey, I'm gonna miss that question. I'm gonna focus on this stuff, right, the main, right? I mean, you're probably gonna have 40 questions. This might be even extra credit, these two. So you might say, you know what, I'm gonna leave these two out. So you see the kind of thinking a student does? It's, it's about managing your time, right? I have all this to learn, I have all this to know. Honestly, I could have known it. I could have known it, I had the opportunity to learn it all, have it all, I could have had it all, but I didn't. Let's, I'm assuming, I'm putting myself in, a, in the position of a student who didn't do that, right? I'm gonna focus on the, on the core ideas. We need to get in dress code before we come in here. So why don't you go to your locker and get in dress code. Is it stuck? Is there no other computer? All right, close that up. Turn it, uh, close it up. Close the door. Go over there into the cabinet. There's four computers in, in uh, cardboard boxes at the top. Don't worry, I've already contacted Mr. Weber about that. All right, so we have this core ideas, right? So really, what should you focus on before Thursday? These. If you see uh, Mr. Dewey in the hallway, do you know who Mr. Dewey is? Yeah. Yeah, Drake Dewey. Yeah, you see him in the hallway. Might, might you ask him? Okay, what were, what were some of those facts that you discussed? What do you think was important? Food supply stuff, you should have notes, right? Yeah. I can't send you the PowerPoints proprietary. It belonged to our speaker. You need to focus on that, right? But again, these are two questions out of 40. This is where 39, 38 of your questions are coming from right here. So really, this is what you should be focused on. This is the stuff we covered in class. You had two, two Thanksgiving activities to do. We went, I sent you videos on. You know, this is the stuff that you had homework on. This is the stuff that you have to focus, right? So make sure you know each of these. You have a copy, a handed copy to you. I email, I'm gonna email this out to you as well. I'm emailing out this video. Uh, as soon as I can get to a place where I can email it out, probably in my phone in, in the dining hall, the teacher dining hall. So we're done, we're set, right? Tomorrow we're having a deep review. If you're not ready for the tomorrow, it's not gonna help you as much, all right? Don't forget, Shargaff's rules, right? If I give you 30% A, can you figure out how much G I have, you have? Can you figure out how much C you have? You have to, you have to be able to do those calculations, right? Well, I mean, it just goes back to the A equals, the percent A equals percent uh, T, and percent G equals percent C. And it all boils down to you need what? A hundred percent. So like, do we count? So what, well, you gotta think, if I tell you it's 20% A, what, now what do you know? 20% T. You know that, right? Because A, why do you know that? Because what? A equals T. So now what? Now what do you do? So how much is this total? 40. How much do I have left? 60. So G and C must be what? 30% each. See how easy that is? But if you don't know this, if you don't understand it, you're not going to get it right on the test. I guarantee you there's going to be a question like this on a test. But it's real simple. You got 100%. And you know A equals T's and G's equals C's. That's it. Yeah. How many students respond to multiple choice? Uh, it's all going to be multiple choice. Yes. But I'm going to tell you what. You're still going to have to do calculations. You'll have scrap paper. Scrap paper. You're still going to have experiments. You have to figure out control groups, experimental groups. Like I, I really would rather you review the notes and. And then we, as a group, go in a deep review. You come with questions tomorrow. But don't come in asking me, what is the control group? You should go over, review the videos, review your notes, and then come in with specific questions. Like, I don't, I, for an example, can I give you an example? Uh, I saw that in the homework, or I saw in this experiment, let's say the Griffith experiment with the mice, I saw that, uh, you know, he injected the smooth in this, into the rough, 
I don't understand why he did this, right? I don't understand where the control group is. Uh, I think it's this one, but I'm not quite sure how to apply it. You see, that's a specific question that we can work on. And that, but that's you're not going to get be able to ask that question right now, are you? You you should have been able to. You should be able to. But if you haven't gone over that Griffith experiment, if you haven't tried to con identify the control group, if you haven't watched that video, then and we, which you've had a week to do, right? If you haven't done that, then you can't ask that question. If you can't ask that question, it's going to be harder for you to be ready for the exam, that level of exam question. And I would rather you do it right the first time they come after school to, to try to remediate 20% and maybe get a B or C or D, right? So get it right the first time. Make sure you, you know what's, you know what's going to be on the test. Here it all is. It's a lot. It covers a lot. Today you're going to do something uh, that's related to this. Today you're doing... Uh, today you're doing... Uh, mitosis and meiosis which is related to the genetic, the, the uh, dragon genetics. It's gonna, this lab is gonna walk you through it. Although it's gonna be re related, I'm not putting any mitosis, direct mitosis and meiosis questions on the test. Are we clear? But understanding the process of mitosis and meiosis is going to help you with what? What on here? What on this, on this, on this study guide, what's that going to help you? Mitosis, chromosomes, meiosis. Sister chromosomes, sister chromatids, DNA location, alleles, dominant, recessive, uh, gene expression, Mendel's P's, which is, uh, we haven't, uh, dragon genetics, we haven't covered Mendel's P's cell yet, theory. but they, cell theory to some extent, yes. Right? So, really, this experiment, you need to know these topics to understand mitosis and meiosis, so this is going to help you today. So you need to walk through this, draw, sketch out each of the steps in mitosis and meiosis. There's six in mitosis, right? How many in meiosis? It says 15. 15, that's right. And it says eight for mitosis. Eight for mitosis, right, depending on how you count them. So eight to mitosis, 15 for meiosis, right? So you need to draw these out. You need to understand what's happening at each step. This is out on you, right? This is not... Le listening to someone lecture. This is you doing in an, inter an interactive lab. You have, all have a copy and your Jupiter grades on it. So if you don't finish it today, you can do it tonight. You can come with questions tomorrow. Add questions. Add questions about this uh, to, uh, Thursday uh, before Thursday if you like. Then Friday we're going to deep di di do a deep dive on mitosis and meiosis, and you'll have a weekend uh, homework assignment where you're going to have to work out some of these steps and some of the questions that you might see on your final. Okay, starting Monday, we're gonna and here. Make sure you write this down. Starting Monday, here we're gonna cover protein synthesis. And that includes transcription. Translation. And something we call, uh, you know, uh, enzyme. Enzymes. How do they work? All right. So, transcription, translation, enzymes. Uh, we're going to start the week off with that, and by the end of the week, we're going to the second topic. This is the first topic. The second topic is going to be DNA replication. Over the over the Christmas break, after that, over the over the holiday break, the winter break, you're going to uh, do Mendel's P's, dihybrid crosses, monohybrid crosses. So we call Mendelian genetics. When you get back, we'll do non-Mendelian genetics, uh, stuff that happens like eye color and skin color. How is it we get a hundred different kinds of skin color if it's one or the other, right? How do you get how do you get uh, uh, white uh, a Dalmatian, black spots or white spots on a black dog or black spots on a white dog. How do you get that? If it's one or the other, right? So there's a lot of stuff that's not one or the other. There's a lot of stuff that's not dominant recessive. Okay, we're going to talk about those after break, after winter break. And then we'll talk about pedigrees. Uh, doing a pedigree, doing things like figuring out why 
and, and they're going to be complicated. Some of you may have done some in middle school. Pedigree is a little more complicated, right? A family, this is like a family tree, but we're going to kind of, you have to have your genetics down to understand it, really. And to be honest, I think some of you really have a good foundation in pedigrees. It's, it's straightforward. Uh, but there's some tricky elements to it that we want to make sure you get straight before we move on. And then once we're all done with all that, then we're going to get into ecology. We'll do some evolution stuff, some ecology, some things we call cladistics. Uh, and uh, we're going to go back and, and make sure we cover all the questions that are going to be on your end, end of course exam in, in April. Okay? April, May is your end of course exam. So we need to get this content done. All right. So that's where we're at. I'm um, I'm happy that everybody was uh, is on is on uh, is on the same page. So go ahead and start the lab.